So here in this slides, in this video, my topic is all about academic library functions, operations, and services in relation to my blueprint. So here is my academic library blueprint. So here at the side, as you enter, this is the main entrance. There is the, this is the lobby, the lobby here, and then the side of the library, the side of the library. As you enter, here in the left side is the circulation. In the right side is the reference. As you go through this way, you can see the periodicals. And front of the periodicals is the stock. On the center is the, is the makerspace. And the head part of the makerspace is the cyber library. And the right side of the cyber library is the administrative area. And the right side of the administrative area is the library archives. And then fronting the library archives is the Filipiniana and the collections. The hallways must be in a bigger space or in a wider space. And then the left sides of the makerspace is the cataloging one and two, but supposed to be this cataloging one and two is in one room because this supposedly the cafeteria. And here in the left sides of the cataloging is the acquisition section, and in front of the acquisition section is the study and research area. And these ways, these are the ways where you can. Uh, we can you can pass through whenever you go through the library it must be wider in space and there are some signs and uh, possible uh, techniques to how to locate the information on the sections on the library sections and department of a modern library which i accept into my design of the, my uh, blueprint of an academic library. So that's include the reference section, the circulation, the study and research area, the periodicals, the cyber or digital library, the cataloging, the Filipiniana, the library archives, the thesis and dissertation department, the acquisition, the stocks, the administrative department, the makerspace, and last but not the least, the cafeteria. Reference area. Reference area in my a blueprint as you enter here you can see at the right side of the the right side of the library this is the reference area so the the space must be in wider or it's a wider scope so it involves the reading areas the counters counters then the bookshelves or in the general reference materials are being stored there is also a an opac where the students can search for the materials that he or she wanted to have in the reference area. Some of the reference section functions, services, and operations includes the following regular and timely library instructions, selecting and maintaining the collections, and then provide guidance to the users, and then assisting users to evaluate resources, and then answering information requests, and then support the university teaching and research mission. So these are only the few of the functions and services which is in the present in the reference section. So the circulation section. The circulation section, so the circulation section located in the left side as you enter the main entrance of the library that I designed. So the circulation section also has a reading areas with big large tables and chairs and then the counter and the bookshelves and then the opac. Some other libraries uh, in, involves the Reserve area in the circulation section. Inside the circulation the section or the counter of the circulation section. So as a student, you can go through the counter of the circulation sections as you wanted to borrow books, pay for your fines, or, uh, or ask information or where you can find the materials. So here are some of the few circulation section uh, services functions of, and procedures. So it involves the borrowing of books, checking out library materials, receiving payments such as fines, and then uh, arranging books according to the classification scheme, and then uh, provide information about the basic search and library instructions, and etc. 
study and research area. So here is my book blueprint in the study and research area. So it includes the individual careers which is separated from the large tables for group discussion and then if you want to have it to be in a close area there are also the discussion room i put here the discussion room one and two and then the conference room where in the faculty the students and the members of the administrative can uh, discuss whatever the matters that they wanted to discuss so the procedures here is this area is a very quiet area. So study and research area. Study and research area provides individual seats, tables for group work, group studies, and career. So uh, this area is a quiet area. So this uh, the procedure here is you can only um, have a discussion in a in a tables with uh, the maximum of then people and then the room also maximum of 10 people and a maximum limit time of one hour so another section here is the periodical section as you enter the periodical section in my blueprint you can see every side of, of the section has the shelves so the shelves includes the journals journals and then the newspapers and then the magazine so this area here is the reading area with the large tables and chairs where the children uh, the, the students and the users can read the collect the information sources that they found in the periodical so they also the counter the counter and then the table of the librarian where the the, the students can ask for uh, information and it also in this table the librarian must do the indexing and another um, task in the section there is also the opac the opac here the online public access catalog so that students can search for whatever they wanted to have related to their needs for judicial section has different functions and services and procedures so i put here some of them the arranging arranging the materials into the classification scheme classifying it into the classification scheme and then indexing indexing is very important in the periodical section because of the journals it pro it provides the subject heading or the important points of the uh, information and then writing for archi archiving so this is on the uh, materials that are very old that it needs to be preserved so another section here is the cyber or digital library section so as you can see here in my book and as you enter here this is the main area of the uh, digital or li cyber library section so the area must be in a big size so as you enter you can see the circle around here the circles the circle is uh, uh, basically the the seats, the tables, and the seats and the computers where the students can use computers and they can search for what they wanted. They can do word processing, Excel, and etc. So in this area also there are also printers, scanners. So scanners. So they provide scanning and printing. And this is the librarian's table where the students can. Uh, asked information and also the side is the waiting area or this, the students can sit here if the, the the computers are not available because they are full so here are some of the few of the services functions and operations of the digital or cyber library so it includes the hardware and software maintenance database creation and maintenance and then internet and a document services statistics and records then provide the training and automation then develop website and library portals then it also provides library orientation library instructions and etc so here in the digital library it accepts the standards of the internet protocols and the computer ethics which includes thou shall not use a computer to harm other people thou shall not use a computer to steal thou shall not use a computer to bear false witness and etc 
So another section here is the cataloging section. So here is my blog plan of the cataloging section. The cataloging section includes the catalogers and then the collection that has to be cataloged and then the card catalogs here, the catalog cards and then on the on the left side is the accessioning, the barcoding, and then the process books. So the area must be in a good, uh, good site, good location, and in a bigger spaces so that the librarians or the catalogers will not be uh, suffocated with the area. And then the processes here involves the uh, barcoding, and then the classifying of books, and putting. Uh, decimal classification so cataloging function procedures and services enclose the following so I will go through with this uh, slide so another section here is the Filipiniana section so it is also uh, serves as a special collection of the library so here in my blueprint as you can see the side here is the collection the rare collections then the shelves here, and then the rare collections, the special collections, and then there are there is also a, a reading area where the students can can study, and then the counter, then the table of the essays or the the personnel that you can ask for some information. So Filipiniana section must be in a good space, a, a wide space, and in a in an accurate level of temperature and then the Filipiniana involves the following services and functions evaluate information resources assist users answering questions developing resource guide and instruction so uh, every section has different procedures but in the Filipiniana section Filipiniana section is a strict one because of the rare materials here so one of the the very important to know about the pr procedures of the Filipiniana section is that you can't loan out the rare materials especially for uh, for loaning it outside the library or photocopying the materials because the materials are of one of their kind so they are very important for the library for the institution and especially for the Philippines for our, uh, for example the historical or cultural and heritage another section here is the archive so the archive is uh, the institutional repository of uh, the library. So here is my blueprint. So the blueprint should be in a big space, in a wider space. And there is the collections. So it involves institutional collections, such as the, the presidents, photographs of the president, the awards, the certificates, and etc. Et this should be um, maintain in a cold in a cold temperature academic library and archives involves the following services uh, answering questions support to research services uh, provide research services and then public programs so it also includes uh, exhibition where in it happens when the the institution having an event so they have an exhibition in accordance to the events of the library institution or the uh, academic institution so another section is thesis and dissertation or graduate collection section so it involves the collections for the graduate students such as the thesis thesis and dissertation so here is my blueprints as you can see the every size this side and this size uh, includes the collections so such as thesis and dissertation and this is the uh, reading area so there are large tables and chairs and then there are also individual carrels and this is the uh, counter where you can ask the librarians or the personnel where you can find some of the uh, collections here and there is also the opaque on the side on the side so that you can search on your own of what you 
uh, what information do you want to have? Um, dissert thesis and dissertation section. Uh, so best characterize it. So it supports the graduate and research programs of the university. So uh, the procedure here is first is the area must be in a quiet place because some of the people, the research uh, researchers, doesn't want to be in a noisy place. Another section in an academic library is the acquisition section. The acquisition section is very important, especially for the collection. So it involves the processing of books. So the area must be in a good space, must be in a wider scope because it involves the, uh, the processing of the uh, information materials. Academic acquisition section, academic library acquisition section involves the following processes and procedures. So, first is re request processing and then verification, then ordering, then pay the payments, and then reporting, and then receiving the order. So, this is a very crucial uh, area of the academic library. So the stock area, the stocks area is basically the place of the main collections. So there includes the books. So everything is in here. So the, this area is the shelves area. And then on the side is the, the reading tables where the students can read books from the, from the collections here in the stock. And they are also assigned to pack. Then card catalog, pack and card catalog because some other people, especially the older people, they didn't want to use the pack. So there are the traditional type, the the card catalog. So the staff provide the basic uh, services such as borrowing of books, reading, reading, uh, reading guidance, then checking out of books. So Basically, the stacks is the spaces of books according to the bibliographic classification. So, if the library accepts the DDC format, then it is arranged in a DOI decimal classification scheme. As an administrative or library office area, so here in my blueprint, you can see as we entered here the sofa, then the, the secretary's table, then the uh, rooms for library materials and then as you enter here you can see the tables where the meeting happens then this is the building uh, or the place of building uh, policies procedures scheduling and uh, etc and then the library director's table so this place must be in a bigger space because because it has to be uh, to have uh, rooms for materials and then the place for the meetings happen between the administrators. Functions and services of the administrative area include following scheduling, organizing, coordinating, providing public information and do documents, conducting outreach program, and staffing, leading and directing, then uh, developed of plans, policy, programs, and etc. And then it is also a place of the equipment and materials in the library. Another very interesting and creative section is the makerspace. So the makerspace, as you can see here in my blueprint, it must be ideally a very big space, big in space. So the spaces here are being occupied with some activities such as here the computers where you can have your computer literacy and then the discussion area where the a discussion events must be happened and then also the art sites where you can see the art materials you can paint in this area and then the librarian's table and there are the sites for the music materials and then the group discussion tables and then the sofa where you can relax so the Makerspace basically is the place for creation, innovation, and technology. A makerspace offers some uh, 
some services, functions, and procedures. So it involves the, I put here arts and crafts, so it involves the arts, and then the computer literacy, the seminar workshops, classes, then designing innovation, then group activities and discussion. It also includes the media production. So the last but not the least area or section in the library is the cafeteria. The cafeteria may be the most favorite of all people because this is the place of foods, the nutritious foods, the plenty of foods where you can eat wherever, whenever or wherever you are hungry. So here are some of the questions about my blueprint. What was the basis of your library design? So I don't have any basis of my library designs. I, mm, it's, it is not inspired of another library, but this is the thinking of my mind that the structure of library should be uh, like that. Then what were you thinking when you design your library? So as designing of my library, I think about the, the formation of the library, the the locations of the sections, the locations of the information, and then the places which where the, and the users can do their research. Is it inspired by a library that you like? Uh, no, it is not. Or it is designed based on bad experience? No, it is not also. Is your design traditional? Uh, maybe for some people, maybe they, we, we can see it as a traditional type, but uh, for me, it is a strategic one because the locations, the places is being arranged according to the, uh, according to uh, an arrange or the arrangement is in a good site. Uh, will your design in these high, uh, in these readers? Uh, well, of course, because because it is put in a well arranged area in a well arranged manner. We're in circulation. The reference is in the uh, on the entrance or the the main the main part of the library. So, uh, uh, yes, the the design is very uh, strategic, and as you enter the the library you can see the holes the the hallways which are which is bigger so that you can go through the uh, the passage without any barrier